best weapon next year with another video. And this one is, um, as you can see, a uh, look at a master, a master Chief drawing. And um, this took me about, let's see, it was 45 minutes, and then maybe about an hour to draw and to color in. But I will do a video whenever um, I get a chance on how to draw it but um, yeah um, if you guys want to know the supplies all I used was let's see I used okay so right there I was trying to do the bullet holes like the bullet damage uh, but it looks kind of like a little burn mark um, I used a reference picture that I got off Google and uh, I did not trace any of this. It was all freehand. I didn't trace anything. It was just with a pencil. And then I went over it with a pen. But I used crayons, oil pastels, and colored pencils. And of course, you need a pencil, and then a pen, and an eraser. What I like to do is I like to draw it all with pencil. And then whenever I get it drawn with pencil, I like to go over it with pen so it'll be there permanently. And then color it in. And, um, I used, like, an olive green up here for for some of the, uh, color. And that was a pa not a pastel. Um... And then I used like a lime green over it. And then I went over it with just a lime green oil pastel. And then I used a uh, yellow oil pastel. Um, orange colored pencil and a yellow colored pencil. And then of course there's black there. Uh, black oil pastel. Some a gray crayon. And... Yeah, um, that's pretty much it, and, um, I will see you guys next time. I had a Grand Theft Auto video, but, um, I didn't, I accidentally deleted it, so it's, uh, so I can't really post it now that I've deleted it, as you can probably figure out, um, well, I will... You can see, like, if I do that, you can see the oil pastel shine. Oh, and, um, um, if you're, like, if you have, if you're a kid and you want to draw this and you're going to use oil pastels, um, ask your parents to help you or put, I mean, not help you, uh, Ask your parents to find some old clothes or something for you that you don't need to wear anymore, like old raggedy clothes, because if you mess up and you get it on your clothing, it will be there for a long time. And I think it's actually permanent, because it's oil pastels. But, yeah, um, now, I honestly don't like to get my finger all, like, colored and stuff whenever I, I draw. And oil pastels, and same thing with charcoal, um, they, um, will turn your finger black or whatever color the oil pastel is. And what I did is I took a Q-tip, and I just, to smear the oil pastel, I, um, used a Q-tip and just went over it. And I think my art teacher used to say that, um, the oil pastel moves better whenever you have heat with it, and if you move the uh, Q-tip around a lot, it'll get it'll get heat, and it will move it around easier. But if you want to use your finger, just kind of go in the area. Now I already smoothed all that out, smoothed all of it out, so it won't get on my finger. But um, that's pretty much it. I will show you guys the reference picture whenever I can and I will um, put
put that in the tutorial on how to draw this. I probably won't be using Capture for it. Um, I'm using Capture, YouTube Capture right now. And uh, it's all because you have to hold on to the button to record. Which honestly, I, I like this app that you can download on YouTube for uh, that the YouTube app for YouTube Capture. But I don't like that you have to hold on to the button for however long the video is. But I like that you can edit it and stuff. Um, well, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys next time with hopefully how to draw this. But it all depends. I might do like a random game gameplay video or something like that. I don't know. Well, see you guys next time.